This is a review on Star Wars Saga Legends Luke Skywalker in his uh, pilot gear. You can see it here. Nice packaging. It's always great to see uh, movie accurate costumes. Has a removable helmet, grappling hook. out of the package and uh, first thing it has this card game and a dice overall I don't think this card game dice thing that they were trying really took off uh, it's just a gimmick and uh, the figure itself is fantastic it has a base nice uh, simple Star Wars base here and uh, this is uh, based on the Empire Strikes Back the famous Hoth scene, but it's also the gear that he wore when he went to Dagobah and met Yoda. Might be tough to see, but you could see the eyes a little bit under the visor here. So it's nice that they use a clear plastic and you can remove the helmet. It has some nice detailing, rebel symbols here, and they do have some coloring options that they did use for paint applications. This is Luke Skywalker. Try to focus on the face here. The sculpt is pretty good, but this part you cannot remove, so it's already sculpted on, just like this. And uh, right here, it's on a clear band, and I'm gonna keep it there. He's holding a lightsaber hilt, but the packaging, it didn't have a lightsaber, which is kind of weird and kind of cheap that they gave you the hilt, but they didn't give you the blade. And this is really nice. It's the harpoon gun. And you could take the harpoon out here. They gave you some pretty nice rope. And this is the gun to shoot it out. I don't think I've ever seen this on a figure before, even though I uh, they probably have used it, but just not that I've seen it. You could see here, you just put in the harpoon, and that's the gimmick. And other than that, other than the harpoon gun, the helmet, and just the lightsaber hilt, which I'm going to keep that way. The figure is really articulated nicely. And just some nice details, if you could see this, the chest device. You can see that little costume detailing all over here. The back is nicely detailed. The vest here. Uh, and just you can see on the sculpting, they have all different like wrinkles and folds in the costume itself. It's not all even. And you can see here, you could move these the straps here. It's like a separate plastic piece that they used. You could turn the head side to side. No up or down really, but that's about it. The shoulders, ball jointed, side to side, up and down. Elbow, can go up or down, and side to side, ball jointed there. You can see the forearm area, you could spin that here, and here. Has an open grip on each hand. Upper body, side to side, a little up and down. The legs can go up or down, but they're not ball jointed and the knee you can bend it at the knee and you can spin that around and the feet up and down and you can spin it over here as well I mean a lot of articulation for this scale of a Star Wars action figure and part of the Saga Legends it's almost vintage to me that this could have been on the vintage card because the sculpting detail the articulation, it's just as good of quality and really nice figure. So for those wanting to have a snow speeder or wanting to create that epic scene in uh, The Empire Strikes Back, I definitely recommend getting this Luke Skywalker. It's one of the better figures that they made of the character. That's the review. 
comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Ben, don't leave. The Dagobah system? Yoda? Who's that? Only one way to find out. R2, we're going to Dagobah. And we're going to meet this Jedi Master.